One of your hardest things to deal with in life is change. And change is a constant part of life. Uh, you often hear people say, uh, remember the good old days or uh, this store used to be something, now it's something else. And um, that's very uh, disruptive to the mind because humans are creatures of habit. And so dealing with change is one of the psychological parts of life that's tough. You know, you were once in a relationship and you no longer are. Uh, you spent years uh, at a certain job and now you're no longer there. You had friends and now you no longer had them. And things change. People change. Environments change. Society changes. And as you get older, that psychological battle becomes harder because you have dealt with more change. And that's how people become bitter and cynical because you've seen so much different change and maybe you feel like, um, you know, your carefree mindset or how you viewed life when you were younger is no longer available because you just uh, don't have the same level of hope. So you, you learn to go with the flow. You have to, uh, be you know, because... You can't always fight the flow of time. You know, time is like a river. You can never touch the same spot twice. So fighting change many times makes your life harder, makes you more negative, and it's just a rougher road to travel. You know, I understand the mindset of sometimes, you know, change isn't always a good thing, so you need to speak up. There's something to be said for that, but... You know, it's no matter what, you know, it's going to be some level of change. You know, people once, you know, wanted to ride horses. They didn't want, you know, automobiles, you know, and the, you know, so it's like there's always going to be a, a generational adaptation. You know, the number one book, the number one book I recommend that's non-religious is a book called Who Moved My Cheese? Who Moved My Cheese by Dr. Spencer Johnson. It was a book my dentist recommended when I was uh, in my early 20s. And he said, Sam, I recommend you read this book. It's only about 50 or 75 pages, very short book. But it's a very powerful message about how to deal with change. You know, there was cheese in the maze. Uh, the, the book is basically a story about mice that are in this maze, the maze of life, so to speak. And as they were coming up, there was cheese always put in one part of the maze. And these mice had come to make that part of their life. They always go to this place to get their food supply. And then eventually part of the book, the experiment was to move the cheese from one location and put it in a new part of the maze. And different mice reacted to that change differently. Some mice said, we're never going to leave this one spot. It was once prosperous. It was once great. It has to be great again. And we have to keep going back to it. Then other mice said, you know what? After a couple times, it doesn't appear that it's coming back. The cheese is not coming back. So what we need to do is adapt, change and go find new cheese. And the mice who had left one area and migrated and and found other places in the maze that cheese was, they ended up surviving and evolving and growing. And the other mice suffered because they resisted that change. And it was a great lesson. This book was written years ago. And everyone is going to have their own spin on it because everyone has their own perspective. Perspective is you look at the same information as someone else. You read the same story. But because of your life experience... And because of your own individual personality, you have your own take on that. And that's part of life, whether you read a, a religious book, a regular book, or you talk about a certain subject. Everyone has their own perspective. Empathy is saying, you know, I can understand different perspectives. I have my own. And then you decide how much you want to entangle yourself with other perspectives. But there are other perspectives in life, you know, so... Sometimes go with the flow, always be willing to adapt and change, and just realize it's part of life, so don't fight it too much, you know, depending on who you are and what your perspective is, but I just, I wanted to share that thought this morning, those are my morning thoughts, I think about it often as I get older, 
I'm human, so I understand, and I'm feeling it myself, you know, going through life. And uh, like I've often shared in many of my videos, the worst thing you can do in life is nothing. Idle time is the devil's playground. Being unproductive is a pathway to depression, um, bad mental health, bad physical health, bad financial health. Idleness, not doing things, not showing up, not pushing forward. It just makes your life harder. And so those are my thoughts. I hope my thoughts and my videos help you in some way. Uh, thank you to all my channel members who support the channel. If you'd like to be a member, click the blue join button. You'll get unlimited access to all my live feeds. Thank you for those who click the thumbs up. You can also check out my playlist on my channel with a bunch of different videos about different topics. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.